Alrighty, it's time for another 6.5 Grendel video. Now in the last video, we used this exact same combination, the 130 ELD match, Winchester number 41 primers and Power Pro 2000 MR, and we worked up to 30.0 grains. Now we only got about 2250 feet per second, so that was a bit slow. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use the same load data today, and we're gonna go ahead and push on up. So we're gonna start out at 30.5 grains and work our way up to 31.4. So this should get us somewhere between 23 and 2400 feet per second, hopefully. We're gonna use the same overall length, which you see up there on the screen, and same brass, Starline small rifle primer brass. So let's get out on the range and let's see how they shoot. Alrighty, we are out here on the range. This is my 20 inch 6.5 Grendel, one and eight twist. It's got an Athlon Argos BTR, six to 24 optic, shooting at 100 yards, orange dots on the target are one inch. We're getting velocity through our lab radar. Um, this is kind of the part two of our original series or uh, original videos with 2000 MR and uh, the 130 ELD match. So hopefully we hit some higher velocities today than we did the other day because we obviously pushed up with our charge. Now this gun is clean. So this first shot is going to be kind of an oil shot. The gun is also cold, but hey, it is what it is here. Going to start shooting our guns a little bit cleaner here, which I think if you guys have been watching for some of my videos about cleaning, you guys are familiar with that. This first one should come out about 2300 feet per second would be my estimation. So probably push up to maybe close to 2400 with uh, our max load today, which would be pretty fast for a 130 grainer. All right, so first load here. Twenty two fifty four. Twenty two seventy two. And 2276. We're going to go a couple clicks to the right here too, just to kind of get our scope a little bit closer. We're going to go three clicks. All right, our three pieces of brass there look fine. And we're going to go ahead and move on up. Was also twenty two seventy six. Twenty two eighty three. And twenty two seventy eight. Labrador is having a little bit of issues today staying connected. Which it hadn't been, it had been staying pretty connected with my phone. But we're having some issues today. So you guys will see those velocities up on the screen with SDs and things like that. Not great looking groups there. Let's go ahead and move on up. And we're really not making any progress on our velocity here either. See if things will tighten up as we push up with our charge weight. Well, we hit 2300. Kind of messed our group up there with that last one, but decent looking group. We did pass 3, 000, or 2,300 feet per second. Our brass still looks pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and push up to our top load today. Alright, so none of these look terrible, but none of them look great. Definitely not as good as what we got with our, our uh, group size in our last video with this bullet. And I guess maybe 2338 is a little bit more impressive than I thought. I don't know, being that we're shooting the uh, 130 grainers. 
It also is cold, so with this powder, likely we, we'd have a hot, whole lot higher velocity if we were shooting these in the summer, which is why I tend to not want to use these type of powders. Um, that last one there, we averaged 2340 with a 10 SD. So, you know, not terrible, but nothing to write home about here. So let's get over and let's take a look at the target. All right, so taking a look at our target here, that first load at 30.5 grains, we shot a 1.1 inch group, 2267 feet per second with an 11.5 SD. Now these are three shot groups, so we probably can't pay much attention to the SD. Uh, moving up to 30.8 grains, we shot a 1.4 inch group, 2279 feet per second, 3.3 SD, 31.1 grains, we shot right at an inch at 2306 feet per second, 5.1 SD. And our last group of the day, we shot 31.4 grains at 1.1 inches, 2343 feet per second with a 10.2 SD. So as we can see, it seems like that point of impact is shifting up and group size really isn't great. One inch, that's uh, marginal at best for this gun, even for three shots. But we did hit some of our velocity goals probably. Hornady lists max loads with this bullet up to about 2350 and we pretty much accomplished that and I think I mentioned this in the video but if it was um, a little bit warmer out we'd obviously be higher than that and we might get into trouble with our pressure. Alrighty so taking a look at our brass here you can see that lowest charge we shot today at 30.5 grains on our left and moving up to our top charge on the right. Now there's really nothing to see here. Primers look nice and round. They don't look super cratered. No ejector smears on the brass. I think we're in good shape with our pressure here. Now again, I talked about this a bit earlier. If we were to go shoot these loads in the summer, because this is a temp sensitive powder, we could end up spiking this pressure and being into trouble. But I think right now we're safe on our pressure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Um, don't know if we'll shoot any more in the 6.5 Grendel for a little while. I'm ready to get back to shooting some of my bolt action rifles. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing and we'll see you next time.